Number six then from the 2007 Higher Maths, paper one, a trigonometrical equation. And you notice straight away, one angle is double the other. So it's a double angle equation. It's not in radians, but sometimes I think it'd be better if it were because we've got the pesky nuisance of these little degree signs now. So strictly speaking, once I've worked out my answer, my answer should just say X and be no more degree signs. Still, so we'll just leave that to your conscience. We'll go through this. Well, the first step's going to be, I think I'll rearrange this into sine 2 X degrees minus 6 cos X degrees equals 0. It'd be so much easier if it wasn't X degrees and it just had the degree signs there. Use the expansion, you look up the front, look up the front for sine 2x, and you'll find 2 sine x degrees, cos x degrees, and I'll stop doing that, minus 6 cos x degrees, no, okay, equals 0. Now that you've got everything on one side, the technique is going to be factorised, and there's going to be a common factor. I've got a common factor of 2 for the numbers, and cos x for the expressions within it. leaving me sine x minus, and then I've got most of that, so it just needs to be a 3. And then solve the two parts. If two parts multiply to give 0, then either one of them could be 0. If this part were 0, that means that cos x is 0. If this part is 0, that means that sine x would have to be 3. And that's actually quite handy, because sine can only go up and down as high as 1, a negative 1. So there's no solution to that part. So I can say for this part, I've got no solution. That was handy. That saves me any further working for that part of it. And for this one, it is paper ones. There'll be no calculations. It'll have to be ones that you know. And whenever you've got zeros or ones or negative ones, you just think of the graph. So what does the graph look like? Well, cosine graph goes like this. When is the cosine graph at zero? It's zero here and it's zero there. That would be 90 degrees and 270 degrees. And this says I can have them both. So my final answer is going to be this. Notice x equals 90 or x equals 270. Now, strictly speaking, I don't put any degree signs in.